hurtful, painful, unnecessary, and potentially deadly. That's what some are saying about the governor's proposal to change the policies for LGBTQ children in public schools. It's something one college student in Virginia knows all too well. 10 on your side first introduced you to Trixie Henry when she was a senior at York High School. She was concerned she would be dead named at graduation ceremonies. Now a freshman at the Virginia Commonwealth University, Henry was stunned late Friday when Governor Youngkin announced plans to change guidelines for the treatment of transgender public school students. With Youngkin's proposal to implement these policies, it's going to create a new wave of suicidality in young trans students. Yunkin calls it the 2022 model policies on the privacy, dignity, and respect for all students and parents in Virginia's public schools. The NAACP calls it discrimination. Robert Barnett Jr., president of the Virginia NAACP, in a statement said, this policy is painful and resembles the history of segregation. Under the Yunkin draft, bathrooms and locker room usage will be based on sex, birth names will be used unless a parent approves, and parents can object to gender counseling. The Yunkin administration says the proposal reaffirms the rights of parents to determine how their children will be raised and educated. But the head of the LGBT Center in Norfolk calls the governor's plan hurtful, painful, unnecessary, and potentially deadly. These kids will drop out of school. These kids could potentially end their lives. And that needs to be talked about on a regular basis, loudly, even before the period opens on September 26th. The Conservative Family Foundation issued a statement saying it is thrilled that Governor Yunkin has listened to the voices of concerned parents. Meanwhile, the student group Pride Liberation Project is calling for walkouts. I have more from both sides of this proposal on wavy.com.